Hey, and welcome back to another Shaving with Dylan. Um, today, I'm going to be kind of um, talking about a soap that I've used before, um, but I haven't really shown it on my channel, and that's the Admotic by Phoenix Accoutrements. Um, the razor I'm going to be using today is actually a razor that I've had for, I want to say, about, about a year now, um, which is the Parker 87R. It's a, it's a heavier handle and stuff like that and all. It is a butterfly twist to open. It is, does have a nice mechanism to it. Uh, I am going to be using the Vushod blade in this. Uh, I believe the Vushod blade now is on its fourth or fifth shave. Probably fifth, I want to say. Um, and then also I'm going to be following up as far as with a little bit of the Thayer's Witch Hazel. I always like to use the unscented because I don't really like to throw off the other scents that I have going on and all um, to like ruin the soap or if I do an after save splash and all that way the Thayer's you know like the peach or the cucumber kind of you know it senses out unless there's something that flows within it. Um, and then as far as an after save splash I'm going to be trying it's a sample size that I got in and it's sterling soaps the actual wool um, sterling gentleman it has really kind of strong notes of uh, like a vanilla and a woodsy t scent to it it's really nice um, I'm going to be using this as far as afterwards and all and my brush is a brush that my wife got me for Christmas, which is the Yaki 26 millimeter. And this is one brush right here. When I display it on my face, it's like, it's, it's huge on my face. So it's kind of funny whenever I use it because it, it literally can cover. And I've shaved with it before to where parts of my glasses look like um, I was um, washing a car and it was like I had soap all over my glasses. So, and I do have the soap as far as actually in the Captain's Choice Bowl. Went ahead and kind of started building the lather just because, you know, I know some videos, they run really, really long and, you know, I like my videos to be long, but I, I do like to review my stuff and you will notice I do talk a little bit. Uh, tonight is date night for me and my wife, which I'm excited about. Um, my mother-in-law is actually, which is my wife's mom, is going to be watching our son for us, Magnus. My other son is with his mom tonight. So it's going to be a nice little date night. We're thinking about maybe going to a steakhouse. Um, not really sure. My wife's like, let's go to Chili's and I'm trying to sway in a steakhouse maybe to get, you know, my steak on. So we'll see what we do tonight. So how's everybody's week been going as far as so far? You've been having a pretty good week. Hopefully work's been pretty good for you. I know I have built up PTO time. And uh, I had to <laughs> tell my HR manager, it's like, hey, I have this PTO time and it go it runs out on the 26th. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. And if I don't take it, y'all have to pay me for it anyway. So <laughs> she's like, go ahead and take it. So I'm trying, I'm taking time. And so my next day back to work is Thursday. I've been off since Sunday which has been really nice to be able to sit down and just look at the videos as far as that a lot of YouTubers do as far as with shaving. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that I absolutely love to watch that have the shaving videos and I thoroughly enjoy their channels and I've been able to actually talk to some of them. Um, I will say what's really cool is that uh, in my last one of my other videos that I did as far as with the West Coast shaving as far as showing off the and I, I misspoke, it's actually the 84M, um, not the 84B. The B is just a regular stainless, the M is for the actual titanium and all for the multi. And like I said, I do have the Vassad blade in here. Um, the prices of Vassads and all, honestly, for the money, you really can't beat them. They're a good little blade, and you get a hundred of them for eight dollars, free shipping on Amazon, straight to your door. I mean, 
it's really hard to beat a razor like a blade like that. It's it just really is. I know uh, I'm going to try to actually pick up more blades versus, you know, a lot of new soaps. Um, I have a lot of soaps because um, a lot of my family was really nice as far as to get me soaps. And then I have soaps that I've kind of accumulated over the two years that I've been wet shaving and all. So a lot of the soaps that I do have, um, except for the ones that I am saying, you know, it's my first use and stuff. The Atmotic, I've used it, I want to say, two other times as far as before right now, um, which I will say it's it's a beautiful soap. Um, there is a reason why people wanted that to actually be in its own tub. It actually first was uh, given out as far as with the shaving scuttle, which is um, with Phoenix Accoutrements, they, had, they brought out a shaving scuttle that is, I think, it's a poly... Polyplastic, it's, it's like the titanium of plastic. And this soap was the only soap you could get if you bought that. It come in like a little teeny tiny container and all. And the entire shaving community blew up because they were like, Oh, this is such a fantastic soap. I want some of it. To me, it, I mean, it has like a very sweet so it comes off as powdery to me as far as kind of like a lot of barbershop say, uh, shave soaps do that powdery smell and I think that's the reason why I really enjoy this soap so much like I do And I will say, as far as the, um, with the, um, actual slide and the glide of the soap, I mean, Phoenix Accoutrements, they knock it out of the park uh, every single time. Um, I've actually been kind of sitting on my hands because they have a, uh, gingerbread, and, uh, I love gin the smell of gingerbread, and so I've been like, I can't order it. <laughs> So anyway, with date night and all, I'm really excited because it's been, I want to say, probably about six months, so a month before our son was born, that we've been actually to been able to go out and actually have a date night. So I am excited about this uh, as far as to actually be able to get out be able to do something. I know I was asking the wife, it's like, you know, instead of us going to go see a movie, because I, I haven't really seen what's really out, um, why don't we go rent a movie from Redbox? So I was thinking of maybe the new Halloween movie. Uh, it seems really interesting and all as far as that it's, you know, picking up where the story kind of left off. But if you've never tried the facade blades before, do so. I mean, they they are nice little blades, and you really cannot beat them. Um, I'm going to try to test out new blades and all. I actually have a feather blade that I got as far as, like, in a blade sample pack. And I am really nervous to try to use that, <laughs> that blade. I'm not going to lie. Um, is there any recommendation as far as what kind of razor you would put it in? Would you put it in more mild? Would you put it in more of a mid? I know with my face I'm really sensitive so I usually try to gravitate toward like a milder razor uh, and a milder blade. I've actually heard that that feather being in a milder razor is like a fantastic combination but I actually have some 
some stuff coming up that I'm really excited as far as to be working on, as far as to be able to put out for the channel and all. The nice thing is, is that um, West Coast Shaving reached out to me and they want me to try out one of their new brushes, which is awesome, and possibly trying out some of their new soaps. And, um, not to give anything away, but uh, I did end up getting a um, new soap that I will be using, um, hopefully in a video coming up soon. Uh, I have a couple other soaps that I want to kind of get to um, that I haven't had the opportunity to really show off yet or really talk about. But, you know, it's one of those things that's always really hard to sit there and figure out which ones you want to do next. And do y'all have, like, um, any razor blades that work really well for you that um, I should give a try? I mean, I've tried Astros, I've tried Sharks, um, the Gillette uh, Silver Blue, Gillette Sharp Edge, um, the Derby, um, I think it's the Derby Premium I tried, and I wasn't really, I, I don't know what it was for that blade. I've heard good things about them, but for me it just didn't work really well. So I'm going to try a Derby Extra. I actually picked some of those up. Um, and then I do have some uh, Pulse Silvers uh, that I'm going to actually try out as well. Yeah, but if you have not tried this soap, Please pick it up. I mean, it is just, it's, it's fantastic. It smells so lovely. And honestly, Yaki brushes, as far as synthetic for, for actual prices and everything, you, you really can't beat them either. Um, I mean, it's, the Yaki brushes are becoming some of my favorite brushes that I have. But honestly, the slickness on this, I mean, it's still really slick even after you, I mean, you have no soap on. I mean, that's one thing I love about Phoenix accoutrements is that they just, I mean, it's so, their soap is so slick. I mean, it's really hard to sit there and, you know, really do a big mess up with their soaps. Someone even told me that the, uh, I think it's the CK6 formula, is even slicker than what I've used. And I, I can't imagine that because honestly, this is some of the, ve this, is, this vegan soap is some of the slickest vegan soap that I've ever used. You know, and I've been doing the whole kick right now as far as, you know, showcasing some of those types of soaps and everything. But, uh, one of the soaps I will say that I have in, if I'm not mistaken, it is an, it's a tallow formula. Um, and it's, it smells awesome as well. And so I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. But as far as if you want like a good little starter razor too, and you want something that's a little bit heavier, the Parker 87R. It's a nice little razor. And the handle's not too long. I've had some, I've tried some razors where the handle is like really long and it, 
I don't know if it's just my shaving style, but I don't really care for the longer handles. I like more of your shorter handles. Uh, once you get about to third past, you know, like three and a quarter to three and a half, three and a half, it kind of just in my hand it feels kind of wonky. With some of your favorite soaps by Phoenix Accoutrements and all, I'd love to know as far as some others to try out that I haven't tried maybe before. I would absolutely love some recommendations and all. And if there's soaps that you really like, I mean, please leave a comment as far as a soap or a brand of a soap that I should really try. Um, I love to actually have the feedback as far as to know different things to try, different things to use, different aftershaves. Um, you know, I actually found a aftershave made by Gillette the other day at Walmart, which kind of surprised me. I didn't know that Gillette made an actual liquid aftershave. So to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to actually trying that out. And, I mean, you know, that's, and like I said, I'm going to put the Thayer's, and spin the bottle around, right, huh? The Thayer's unscented. I'm going to tell you something. I mean, you still feel the slickness of this soap even after you have it off of you. I mean, your face still feels really slick. I mean, almost like you don't even need to put an aftershave, you know, a bomb or anything on. Um, some people like that. Some people don't. I tend to be kind of, I like to have the aftershave. And then, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of the sterling as far as on as well, as far as to showcase that. Uh, it has a very vanilla kind of wood scent as far as to it. Um, the vanilla, not so much, but the woods, very much. So... Uh, yeah, that burns. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way though. As far as in my wet shaving journey, I have enjoyed it. Um, there's very many kind people as far as in the wet shaving community, and I absolutely love having the conversations that I do with them and all. And it is just a great community. If you haven't tried wet shaving before, um, if you would like some help as far as with razors and stuff like that or not. There is a whole community that is willing to help you. If you have any questions for me, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, and But as far as like a little sneak peek, okay? As far as, because I can't stand it, I have to show you. So this is the razor that I ordered as far as from West Coast Shaving. It is one of their brass handles. And it even has the West Coast shaving on the bottom of it. It is a pretty little razor. I cannot wait to try this one out. I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a sneak peek. Now I ain't gonna tell I'm not gonna tell you what soap I'm gonna be using next. It's gonna be a secret. But as far as that's gonna be the razor, hopefully in the next video. Um, if my stuff from West Coast Shaving comes in and all, I may actually do a whole video just on West Coast Shaving products. Um, just to kind of showcase and to pretty much tell them thank you as far as for sending me out a brush and all. For me to actually do a review on for you guys. But as far as as of right now, I'm going to go so we can go on our date night. 
Um, this has been another shaving video with Dylan. I hope all of y'all have a wonderful afternoon and y'all tune in again for the next video. Okay, guys, y'all have a good one.